Hello and welcome to the Two Inspire Network. My name is Patrice Buddington and today I'll be interviewing Sir Tonya Deru. Hi. Hello. Nice to see you. <laughs> thank you. So thank you so much for joining us today. I'd just like to ask you a little bit about what it is you do. So what is Sir Tonya Deru doing at the moment? Wow, um, okay, well I'm doing a few different things, I call them, you know, micro-businesses. Yeah. Um, the main thing that I do is I'm a motivational speaker, mm -hmm. so I go around to schools, colleges, universities, organisations, and I just inspire, um, motivate and empower individuals to get rid of their excuses, you know, say no to procrastination and say yes to success, but also I um, equip them with the, the strategies and the tools and the knowledge that they need in order to take the steps to, towards the direction they want to head in. So get a bit of stinking thinking and replace it with positive thinking to then help them to build their confidence to then achieve the goals that they have. So that's the main thing that I do. As well as that, I, I'm also a life coach, um, which again is about helping people to set their goals, um, where it's not just, oh, in a few years time, I want to, but no. By when do you want to achieve it? How will you know that you've achieved it? Is it attainable? Is it realistic? You know, so I really help them to define their goals and then I help them to map out the journey and then watch them make it happen as an accountability coach um, and I'm also a business startup coach as well helping people just to start micro businesses where they can be earning an additional 50 pound a week 100 pound a week 200 pound a week and um, where they take their natural gift their natural skills what they naturally do by turning that into a cash machine so that's <laughs> some of what I do okay. um, I also run an events management company called SD events management mm -hmm. where we um, organize business events career events and personal development events um, I also have a book publishing company. After writing my own three books, I then came to launch SD Publishers in 2010. Um, since then, we've gone on to help quite a few aspiring, aspiring writers become published authors and have their books distributed worldwide. And lastly, I have a wedding coordination company. Um, after getting married last year, I then launched or extended SD Events to then do wedding coordination, and that's what we do. Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> so there's a lot there yeah I'd just like to know a little bit about your journey so if we go back in time say about five years Yes. What was Satonia doing then and how have you sort of built up to this point, three books later and so on? Okay, so around five years ago, I believe I had just graduated from university. One, two, three, four. Yeah, more or less kind of graduated yeah. <laughs> yeah, from university. Um, I actually did, did a law degree. So up to that point, you know, my whole life was law focused. I did the work experience, you know, I studied law. I was doing everything needed to ensure mm -hmm. that I would be successful within the legal field. But then when when I came towards the end of my degree, I kind of had a strong passion to want to just work with young people. Okay. So I thought, okay, let me take a year out, um, you know, before going to law school, let me take a year out and let me just give give back to the young people in whichever form I don't mind, I just want to give back to mm. them. Um, and it was through making that decision, I then came to write my, my first book and I then came to launch, launch it as a motivational speaker. And then since then, I, I haven't <laughs> gone back to law. Wow. I've just continued along the journey that I, I am on now. So yeah, five years ago, I was, I was you know, happily following the law path. Mm. And then I made the change. In, in direction and then I haven't looked back since then. Okay. Yeah. And in terms of the most motivational speaking, career coaching, I mean, mm. that's a, a massive area at the moment that's developing quite quickly. Yes. How difficult was it for someone like yourself to break through that barrier and actually, yes, I'm going to do this and, and mm. break through that? How, how did you do that? Um, it wasn't too difficult because through my motivational speaking and through, you know, writing my first book at 21, there was a kind of like buzz around, you know, who's Sotonia, like who is this young lady that's written a book, you know, launched at the House of Commons, is going around inspiring young 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 females, young people. So through that kind of buzz, people were hearing about me, you know, I, I was being interviewed on TV, I was being interviewed for magazines, newspapers. So the more people heard about me, they wanted to then know my journey to then help them with their journey. Mm -hmm. So then kind of becoming a life coach, accountability coach, business startup coach, it just flowed naturally. Mm. Where I would kind of give advice for free, I was like, oh, well done. <laughs> you know, I can actually, you know, 
kind of you know make a, a business out of this through mm. helping people you know for my time for my knowledge right. people were willing to to invest into that financially so that's kind of how it happened and I think as as a coach people need to see you living what you're mm. teaching them yeah so you know people you would call me the action woman the no more excuses woman you know the woman that, that does it all so if they can see that in me then, you know, it was very easy for me to say, oh, well, I actually do this as a profession. Mm -hmm. Would you be interested in me coaching you? And they'll be like, yes. They'd actually be like, oh, can I have a mentor? And I'd be like, okay, I don't do mentoring, I do coaching, mm -hmm. which is more about us sitting together, mapping out a journey and taking action. And yeah, then people were like, okay, that's, that's what we want. We want you to coach us. And that's how I transitioned into that. Fantastic. So you've got a clear sense of obviously what you want to do, what you want to achieve. Could you tell me a little bit more about how you actually help individuals achieve their goals? Okay, so I do that um, through my events. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, through, through the events, the talking, the, the motivational talking and the coaching. Um, I'm very much about stop making excuses you know my whole the whole purpose of my first book no more excuses was to find role models from the Afro, Afro Caribbean community who were doing it who were against all odds they chose you know I'm not going to give up I'm going to persevere and I'm going to become successful so I'm very much about if they can do it so can you you know, if you can have the right mindset, the right attitude and the right belief system, then you will become unstoppable and you will achieve your goals and your dreams. It's yeah. as simple as that. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the secret to success is, is really starts with belief in yourself. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, what I've come to realise is that a lot of people don't believe in themselves. Mm -hmm. So even though they have dreams, they have goals, they can't, you know, really see themselves achieving that because they don't believe that they can do it. Mm -hmm. And, you know... Before I became a speaker, you know, like most people, I was afraid of public speaking. And for many years, I never, never took the opportunity to, to, you know, to step out and do my speaking. And everybody saw it in me, but I never saw it in myself. Until one day, I just thought, I need to stop being scared. I need to stop allowing fear to rule my life. I need to stop allowing, you know, my insecurities to, to take control of me. And I need to take control of them. And the moment I made a decision, I started to say yes to opportunities. Would you like to present? Yes. Would you like to talk? Yes. Yeah. And through breaking through all of that, I'm now who I am today. Mm. So through my own personal experience of having an insecurity, breaking through it, yeah. and now, you know, being on the other side of it, I help people to make that same transition. What are your biggest fears? Let's look at them. Now, are they really like facts or are they just what you've told yourself? Mm. You know, um, people visualise failure rather than visualising success. So I get them to start thinking differently. If you can't think differently, then you'll keep doing the same thing you've been doing and mm -hmm. getting the same so results. It's about pattern, really, isn't there it? you go. So I, that I help them to break the pattern by thinking differently mm -hmm. so in order to then act differently yeah. in order to get new results. Fantastic. And for anyone out there, obviously being in business, being in any kind of work environment, one of the biggest things is obviously public speaking, but putting yourself mm. out there in front of people. What are your top three tips mm. for being in the public eye or being in front of people? What would you say are the top three tips about presenting? For presenting, number one, be comfortable with your with who you are, with your style. Mm -hmm. When I first started, you know, doing my motivational workshops, there was a, a young man that I was I was shadowing by the name of Action Jackson. And he's just amazing. He just brings so much energy, he's just so funny, and I was like, oh, I need to be like him, I need to be funny, I need to do this and do that. And, but I couldn't, because I'm not him, I'm yes. just me. I so Jackson's very unique. Yes, he yeah. is, <laughs> he is, he is. So he was a good um, example and, and a good role model of, of like, public speaking. But what I, I came to realise is that I'm only going to be, you know, great or effective yeah. when I'm being true to who I am and my own delivery style. Mm. So number one is being comfortable with who you are and what your delivery style is. Okay. If it's humour, then bring it. If it's not really humour but it's very like, you know, you give a lot of information, then, then do that. But as well as being comfortable with your style, learn to engage. Okay. Yeah, because you don't want your audience to mm. be bored or yeah. to be tired or to fall asleep or to not be listening because you're not able to engage them. So mm. what I what I like to do is mix humour with with the, okay. the hard hitting knowledge yeah. I'm giving to you. Um, with sometimes a bit of like rudeness <laughs> in a sense where not okay, too rude, I hope. Not too rude, yeah. but it's like I'm very frank. So you mm. say that you want to achieve this, what have you done in order to start that journey? Oh, mm. I haven't done anything. So then that tells me you're not serious. Mm. That tells me that you don't really want it. Mm. That tells me that if an opportunity was to come your way now, you wouldn't be able to take hold of that. Mm. 
and people don't really like to hear that stuff because it's the truth. They don't expect the honesty. They don't expect it. Yeah. But I have to be honest mm. because I want them to change. I want them to achieve their goals. Yeah. So I mix it with engaging. I'm funny. Mm. You know, I'm very truthful and I'm very hard hitting. Mm. And I give facts. I give information. I give quotes so that they can remember things. So mm. be comfortable with mm. your style. Learn how to engage. Mm. And then just have a good time slashed <laughs> with the fourth mm -hmm. one know what you're talking about okay yeah so know your subject know area. your subject area mm -hmm. you know the worst thing is to stand in front of people and not know what you're talking about after five minutes you run out of things to say mm -hmm. know your subject area you know for me personally everything I talk about is what I live so mm -hmm. it's actually very easy for me to stand in front of a room of people and just motivate yeah. because I'm talking about my own personal experience but also mm -hmm. I'm passionate yeah so actually, let me change that last one to be passionate about what you're talking about because okay. then that would cause you to know the subject area and have a good time. Fantastic. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, I'd just yeah. like to ask you, I mean, you said you um, have three books and I see them sitting here on your lap and actually I was wondering if, if you could just tell me a little bit about the three kinds of materials that you've published. Okay, alright, so this is my first book, mm -hmm. um, No More Excuses. The subtitle is Real Life Story to Inspire Young Minds to Achieve. So I came to start writing this book in 2008. Mm -hmm. um, I knew nothing about publishing, nothing about writing. Even the people I interviewed, I did not know them. Um, the sort of people I interviewed, people like Levi Roots, who mm -hmm. done a reggae reggae source, um, Alexander Musu, who was the first person to do R&B ringtones. Um, so many different people from a range of different industries and I wrote this book because I was working in a youth club in Hackney and they said to me um, one day, oh we don't really see you as black because you talk correctly and you dress really nice and I was so shocked that their perception of black was not me that I thought, you know what, I need to find role models out there mm -hmm. for them to see that this is who you need to aspire to be like, mm -hmm. not who maybe you're looking at now. So um, even though it in te before it was, you know, kind of for young black, young black, you know, teenagers, the, when I finished writing the book, I thought, wow, the information in this book is so powerful mm -hmm. that it's not even about, it's, not, it's beyond being black. It's mm -hmm. just if you want to be successful, these are tips for you to use. So I see it as a... A kind of a story book because it's the lives of, of the role models but also a career book as well right if you okay. want to get into this career this is how you do it and this is how you rise to the top because i'm not just about going and set the bottom i'm about going in and, and going Amazing. as high as That's you can fantastic yeah and the other two and the other two is my um, children's book called color to success oh, okay. so at the beginning it has um positive quotes like nothing is impossible i am a winner and then um towards the middle it has um like dream future jobs so when I grow older I want to be and then it explains what that career is and it has an activity around it so this is you know about inspiring little children and getting them to dream from a young age um, and to know that you can be whoever you want mm -hmm. to be so as they grow older and people start to tell them you can't hopefully they'll remember cutting Some in this book and it will really oh, inspire them so that's my second book and then my third book is No Excuses Coaching Manual which is an interactive workbook um, helping you to coach yourself to success. Mm -hmm. So it's split into three key areas. It looks at effective goal setting. It also looks at relationships mm -hmm. um, in regards to those business relationships and personal relationships in a sense, people who are adding to you and people who are taking from you, how to get that balance. Mm -hmm. And it also looks at finance. If you're in debt, how to get out of debt. Mm -hmm. And if you want to um, set up your own business, it talks about how to do that. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to get a pay rise in the workplace, it talks about how to sharpen your skills so that, you know, your employer will pay you, keep more you for or that. pay you more. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's always a that's it. So, so those are my my three books. Fantastic. Yeah. And if you could give your younger self some <laughs> advice, what yes. one piece of advice would you give your younger self? Um, I would say don't allow um like your insecurities to stop you. I probably would have been doing this a lot earlier mm. if I hadn't told myself that I couldn't. So I'd say, you know, Satonia, so just believe in yourself and just try. You know, there's nothing wrong with trying. There's nothing wrong with trying and failing. As long as you can get back up and keep on going, then it's, it's going to be okay. Fantastic. That's what I would say. Good pieces of advice there. <laughs> and you. for the future, where do you see Satonia so in mm. two years, three years from now? What do you see? Okay, well, you know, like I said, I got married last year. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in a few years' time, I hope to have... You know, my own family, my mm -hmm. little Satonia, <laughs> you know. Um, but also just to continue building on what I've started now. Um, 
everything I've started is not because it was just you know because I was bored but they it's all part mm. of my purpose what I want to do you know on this earth so I just want to continue building it and mm. being able to employ people to come on board and carry the vision which would then free me up to maybe continue doing my motivational stuff all around the world so you know I'm obviously based in, in the UK but mm. You know, I want to be able to go to Africa, go to America, go mm -hmm. everywhere and just inspire individuals to get rid of their excuses and to live the dreams that they want to, they want to live. And finally, we always like to ask at the end of our interviews, the To Inspire Network is based on three core values and that's promotion, inspiration and networking. What can you say about those three areas? Um, inspiration. Networking and ne promotion. And promotion. It's key, you know, um, in regards to business, you know, networking and promotion, those two are, are very, very important, but it is in regards to life as well. You should be able to promote yourself, you mm -hmm. know. Um, it's very important that you learn to network, you know. Yeah. People need to know who you are so that when opportunities come, you're yeah. the first person they think of. So That's when you're the out there networking, yeah. you know, make sure that you put your best foot forward. Mm -hmm. You know, you only get... You know, you only, you only make um, an impression, you, know, you only make a, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Let me say that again. <laughs> you never get a second chance to make a first impression. Mm -hmm. So if all you ever get is opportunity to make your first impression, make it a lasting one. Mm -hmm. You know, be somebody that people want to talk to, want to be around. Mm -hmm. You know, when you come into their presence, do you inspire them, do you motivate them, or do you drain them? Mm -hmm. You know, if you're that sort of person that people that really want to answer your phone call, be around you, then you need to self-evaluate yourself. How can I be a more positive person? How can I be a more inspirational person? Mm. You know, how can I how can I be somebody that people will want to be around and, and want to to promote as well? Mm. So, you know, those three things they can be used in, in a whole you know range of different different contents, mm. to, um yeah, con contents. But I would say definitely inspire network you know mm -hmm. they definitely do inspire you know mm -hmm. i've been to their events and i've been inspired by everything that they do um even the founder i'm inspired by her story mm -hmm. and they're always 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 promoting up and coming businesses you know mm -hmm. they've even helped to promote the things that i even this you know, is, is all about promotion mm -hmm. and you know they're always just you know networking so they definitely do what they say <laughs> fantastic and on that note we'll finish our to inspire network interview mm -hmm. thank you so much Latonia, for your time you're welcome it's been lovely hearing from you thank Good you luck. can i give my website is that of okay? course you can fantastic if you'd like to find out a bit more about what i do please go to www.satoniaderu.com if you'd like to attend any of our events go to www.sdeventsmanagementmgt.com if you're getting married and you need wedding coordination go to www www.sdweddingsmgt.com and if you'd like to have your book published so you can become a published author go to www.sdpublishers.com thank you okay wow. <laughs> thank you I think that's a wrap